Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our FF All Hyper Global Racetrack Conquer Plan here at Willow Springs Racetrack, Co-Creation Day. During today's event, you will witness one of our developer co-creation officers, the world champion race car driver, Justin Bell, take delivery of his car. He will receive his FF91 2.0 Future Alliance today and become an official owner of this awesome car. We will also kick off the first FF versus Hypercars Challenge in an exciting speed showdown. Today you will see our FF91 2.0 compete against supercars and ultra luxury SUVs. An even more bit of exciting news is that our FF91 2.0 Futures Alliance broke the Willow Spring lap record once again yesterday, this time in the SUV category, show showcasing the formidable racing performance of the FF91 2.0. At the same time, we also welcome those who have registered in advance to participate in the Developer Co-Creation Salon on the raceway later in the afternoon, where you can personally experience the powerfully performance of the FF91 2.0 product. We are now about to officially begin Justin Bell's delivery co-creation portion of today's ceremony. First, I would like to invite FF Global CEO, Mateus Eit, to the stage to give a few words. Mateus. Thank you, John. It is an absolute pleasure to be here and see all these faces. Being curious what it will happen today. And I can promise you, you will have a remarkable experience today. Not only Justin Bell will have a remarkable experience, you as well. We're having the chance to experience our product, where well, I'm happy to show in this racetrack environment and have you to give us feedback how much you enjoy it. The last time we have been here with folks, they were all critical in getting into the car and big smiles on their face when they went out of the car and said, okay, that's it. So with that, we have started a, a co-creation developer process where we invited different specialists from different industries, different societies, communities, to help us to shape the final product we want to launch into the market when we have our so-called SOD3, so there's the start of delivery three when we go into public. At the moment, we are in the phase of SOD2, which started delivering to industry experts, to marketing experts, to uh, technical experts, and the track day is a pinnacle for the technical experts. So for that reason, we invited Justin Bell to be here and take part of this exercise. And we're looking forward to get more of him, not more of him, that doesn't, that's not necessarily possible, but more of his kind to help us to shape the product. And with that, I would like to invite Justin to join me on, on stage. He's an extremely successful racer, <laughs> raced uh, the F, uh, FIA GT series and won it as a world champion, and also Le Mans. So with that, Justin. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you. But before you go forward, you want to have a look at your car? Not yet. <laughs> I want to build it up. Um, well, th thank you everybody for being here. It's actually a, a huge day for, for me and also for Faraday Future. Uh, when I first got introduced to this amazing uh, company through my great friend, Sean Lee, I, I've got to admit that I was a little bit in the dark as to what the objective was. It was all new to me. Uh, I'm an internal combustion guy, like a lot of us, and I'd really not embrace the EV future. And the minute I saw the car, I was so excited, so blown away by the shape of it. And I think the concept that it's a new species of EV, and especially in the hypercar and the ultra luxury segment, I was just blown away that, uh, that something could look like this with all this technology. And I was thinking, well, how, how fast is it gonna be? And then when I got the chance to drive it this morning, I realized that it's indeed very fast. And that appeals to me in a lot of ways. So being here today, seeing my name up on, on the board with some of the other co-creators that have joined this program is, is pretty special. It's, you know, when, you, when it comes to, you know, as a racing driver, it's always about dry, it's always with the objective of being fast, of winning races. It's always with the objective of 
you know, pushing the boundaries and of performance. And it's not about luxury when you're racing. It's about technology and making a car go fast for a lap time. Being involved in this program and seeing what the car does uh, on track and on the road has really been revolutionary. So I think I should see it now because uh, I've kept my eyes closed for the last hour. Um, let's, let's reveal it. Wow. So let's look for somebody taking the mic. Thank you. All right, I'll go here. <laughs> oh, which, are you fighting me on this? There we are. Whoa, all right. Wow. I'll grab the wow. mic back. Can I grab the mic? Whoop. Congratulations. All right. As Henry Ford said, you can have it in black. And <laughs> um, I saw it in matte black, and I thought this is exactly the, the right color for me. Um, it looks stunning, right, guys? How, how impressive is that? That looks great. Very, very exciting. The, great, the good news is that I'm going to get to drive it, and none of you are. Believe me, I'm not letting anyone, anyone drive this car. I've really got uh, embedded with the philosophy of uh, you know, Faraday Future and what they're trying to do. Obviously, you know, the company has a, a performance vision. It has an intention of speed. It has this philosophy that you should push the limits in everything you do. Now, of course, this is a road car that has performance capabilities that mean you can drive it on the racetrack. Not many people in life will ever get to do that, but it's like all our technology, all our vehicles. We want them to be so good on the road and we drive around in luxury and we want to listen to our phones and you know communicate with the world. This car will do that better than nearly anything on the road with the amount of technology. But also, like most of us, when we get the chance to open it up in the canyons or get out in the country roads, that's when you want to uh, really push the limits. And that's what I'm excited for. So I guess all I need now is keys, which are here. OK. Wow. Let me look so, in the black box. Yeah. It opens from the front here. OK. All right. That's the, is that the magic ticket? Is it's that Willy Wonka's gold ticket? I've yeah, got it. it is. Absolutely. Wow. Thank you. Well, we'll, that have, we'll have Louis showing you how to use it. I need a, I, I just need a little training course. But, you know, I'm, I'm very excited. It really is a special day. It means a lot. And, you know, one of the things that we're looking forward to, my father, Derek Bell, is, is you know, a big part of this as well. And uh, one of the things we're looking forward to is evolving the, the car coming up with a performance package, maybe the Bell performance package, yes. and uh, you know, upgrading it so you know, we can go faster in the way we like to. So thank you so much for everyone. It's a really, really big thing. Yeah, we'll take a picture right now of, of me with my... With your keys, yes. With my keys. And yeah. perhaps we invite uh, YT, our founder, YT. to join the picture. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. That's great. Wow. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Look at me, I'm ready to go. <laughs> right, right here. One, two, and three. Okay. Perfect. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So yeah. YT's going to say a few words? Yes. Think, yeah. yeah. Okay, off okay. you go. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Right. Th thanks, Justin and Mateus. I'm going to hand it over to YT, and he's going to give you a little bit of an update on, uh, on FF and, and why we're here today. Thank you. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's Hello, FF Futures. Uh, welcome to October's FF Racetrack Co-Creation Day at Willow Springs International Raceway, the fastest in the West. I'd like to share with you that the FF91 2.0, the racing elephant that makes every road a racetrack, broke yet another lap record here today. Clocking in at 128.13, surpassing Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> yeah, during the upcoming lap challenge session later today, we will make another attempt to break the record we created this morning. Also, we are honored to deliver the FM91 2.0 Futures Alliance to Justin Bell, uh, a Le Mans world cha champion and the renowned racing host and judge. Also, I will share some key updates about the FF All Hyper Global Racetrack Conquer 
plan. The FFO hyper racing is now officially established. Yeah, thank you. Featuring a top lineup of six groups of luminaries, the month 24 hours and F1 world cha champion racers, top automotive engineering experts, AI scientists, automotive modification experts, greatest of all time celebrities, and the FF team. Our goal is to continually innovate the world's greatest AI EV and uh, spearhead the AI EV era. I hereby announce that uh, Roman Duma, the current electrified king of the Nürburgring and a two-time Le Mans 24 hours world champion is joining the FF Conquer Plan and uh, becoming a team member of the FF All Hyper Racing. Yes. <laughs> Where he will play a crucial role in technology development and uh, engineering modifications as well as product de development and testing. This marks the addition of another world champion racer to our community. Joining the ranks of a five-time Le Mans 24 Hours World Champion and the Hall of Fame racer, Derek Bell, well as Le Mans World Champion Justin Bell. Together, they will collaborate with FF to drive continuous enhancements in the FF All Hyper 6x4 Architecture 2.0 and uh, the all ability AI hypercar, leading improvements in propulsion hyper, handling hyper, and uh, AI hyper capabilities. With their combined contributions to product and uh, technology ex excellence, FF will concur the world's most famous racetracks one by one, including Nürburgring, Nordschleife. Begin with uh, today's FF Racetrack Co-Creation Day. We are hosting an unprecedented FF versus Hypercars Challenge on the world's most uh, renowned racetrack. Our FF91 2.0 will go head to head with other hypercars such as Bugatti and Ferrari in a thrilling show showdown that will showcase the ultimate competition between elephants and cheetahs. I believe that the FF91 2.0 can amaze you in the ultimate hypercar challenge with its acceleration to weight ratio of only 0 0.78, which is over twice better than Ferrari's 1.59. It also has an undisputed best in class range to weight ratio of 136. Premium hypercar owners, professional racers and the media are encouraged to sign up for the competition. The detailed competition rules will be provided later by Max, the head of FF Racing. With the Conquer Plan, we will continue to break records of world's famous tracks and uh, spearhead the new era. Let's turn FF into a disruptor the traditional ultra-luxury car civilization epitomized by Ferrari and Maybach, and the pioneer of the ultimate AI tech luxury spare market. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, YT. Uh, now I'd like to invite the leader of the FF All Hyper Global Racetrack Conquer Plan Program, Max Ma, 
He will share with you the latest developments and the next steps for this program. Max. Thank you. Before I, I, I start, uh, I really wanted to congratulate uh, Justin, my friend, and it's been a good journey so far. I'm super, super happy for you. It actually reminds me when uh, a couple months ago when we were at Pebble Beach, uh, we have you and, and your dad, Derek Bell, here as well. So Derek gave a really good, uh, exciting speech about uh, dreaming to the future, how we can really do great things, great potential about this car. So maybe let's take, take a look at the video that uh, Derek, your dad, has shot for us. Let's still hear what he says. Hello everyone, my name is Derek Bell and I work along with Faraday, as you may well know. Today is a special day because we're at a track which is very apt because Justin is taking delivery of his FF91 as a road car, but we're going to be helping Faraday develop the car a little bit more to give you some special extras on the car to give it real performance for racing and performance events. So if we can make the car go well, then you're going to enjoy it too. So have a great day and we'll see you later on in the program. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. I uh, can't wait to uh, meet there again for his delivery event. That's going to come uh, very soon. Um, I think uh, this is really important for Faraday because we have been constantly working on the, you know, the racing related. The racing has a lot of great meaning. It's not only about racing, it's really to uh, use the racing to really push the product and technology to the next level you know, constantly. And also, it's the most important thing is really, we're here to solve a, a world, um, you know, engineer miracle, right? We try to bring a probably, it's not the, the heaviest car, uh, but very heavy car over, you know, close to three ton, to make it faster than all the other sports cars. That's our goal, right? We believe within the AI EV era, with all those technology that we have, there's a good way that we can probably pursue. And then the completely, disrupt the you know, understanding of how people you know, used to know the cars. So we're really building this new species. And there's gonna be a lot of support and I see a lot of great people, you know, racers, engineers, and you know, the, the, the gold and everything, it's all there. So it's really, really happy to, 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 you know, to take these uh, 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 challenges to move things on. And the second, of course, as the YT mentioned earlier, we have the foundation of the racing team. Roman Dumas, uh, the, you know, the king of the EV and Newburgh Ring worldwide. Uh, it's really an honor to be able to invite him. I, I think he, we're gonna share some uh, images later, but you know, when he was driving the car, he was super, super happy. And he, there's a lot of potential that we can really bring this car to the next level. You guys will have experience already, a lot from the car, you will experience, uh, experience more, I bet. And the very last one is, we are in this new AV, uh, AI EV era. There will be new way of you know, racing, right? Um, one of the things that you can experience as a starting point today is that we're going to do this FF versus Hypercar challenge. And then it's going to be you know, starting a little bit simple. So uh, we're going to have later, um, there, I think today we're going to have uh, probably 10 something Hypercars here. Together with 9-1, we're going to go on racetrack and everybody will do a uh, three lap. Uh, we'll take the best lap time of every cars. We really have the, you know, the owners to enjoy the, the ride, but really to understand, you know, how how we, we how fair they will, will do. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a good surprise. Uh, and then this is starting point. And then we'll, we'll have the first three people, you know, as a prize. We'll come to a small ceremony. This is a beginning, um, but with all your you know support and passion into this and, and dream to build on this, but definitely there's going to be a lot more to 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 expect. So, thank you everyone and enjoy. Thanks, Max. Um, now I want to invite uh, some of the previous speakers up, um, Mateus, YT, Justin, and Max, come back up for a group pick, and then uh, we will start getting on the track. So come on back up, YT. Mateus. All right. Fun to take that. Your keys. Thank you. I could see the 
truth. No, you don't have to lie to me. Don't fill your head with things and think you're free. I can smell the fear. I think you may clear. Yeah, I can be ruby in the mood. I can be rotten. I can be cool. I already feel too comfortable. Like I'm right. gonna take a nap back. I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna upset that. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel as comfortable as you want. Yeah, I more, like it. More. I never thought my first laps in this would be with an audience. <laughs> so, one other racing driver, one engineer, yeah. and one high-flying executive. This is really what I needed. <laughs> this is no pressure. It's perfect. And this is, this is the full-blown FF91 2.0 road car, right? There's yeah. nothing, ch this is... It's a production car. Production car, okay. Yeah. So let me tell you then, I, the first time I took the car into the Santa Monica Mountains, it was still not the final setting. Yeah. And I came back and I said, it rides like a boat. Ah. The next weekend they gave me the, the final setting and I took it to, to the same roads again. And Not a boat. Not a boat anymore. Really nice to drive. I mean, it's oh, really good. Right, it's good, huh? stability. Yeah. It's very good. Being a race driver, sit in the back and just, uh, you know, yeah, chill. Yeah, he can, he can just chill there and wonder yeah, what's and going it's on. really fun. I enjoyed last time when Sean was driving me. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Last time Actually, was you drove me one right time. Here. Was it? You yeah. drove me one oh, time. Oh, they resurfaced, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Somebody left the road already. Yeah. So, two firsts. Yeah. I've never been in a back seat ever on a track. Right. No, I don't think I have either. So this is pretty awesome. Well, you, you, you typically can, right? Because, completely different perspective. Right. I mean, I've got to say, guys, that the mid corner stability is very good. Yeah. I'm, and the feedback through the steering wheel is, is very progressive and you can feel it nicely under your fingers you know yeah you must have gone so fast across that hump there craig oh yeah we're I mean, 100 plus over it i think yeah but very stable yeah and yeah responsive right. um consistent feedback linear almost you know? yeah you know what to expect exactly look at it this is fantastic i'm actually thing? excited guys because i have <laughs> not i've been waiting for this day for quite a while and here we are, delivery You're day having, at the racetrack, right? Yeah. Nine. You're probably having like 7,000 pounds right now with all of us sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. You're still driving fast. But the thing is, uh, no race car will give you this way, right? You know, you do, you can try, you can do the same. <laughs> I tell you what, 130 right? at the end of that is as fast as you see in most cars. Yeah. And we, right? We're I mean, pretty stable back in here. I mean, I How are you feeling back there? Oh, it's. How's it? Would you like ride. a Starbucks? We could go yeah. to the drive-thru. <laughs> need a little popcorn? I just or? don't want the drive-thru to become the throw-up through. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. You know, next time we'll have the screen down and yeah. then we can watch all the outside scenes. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be even fun. It's like a, playing watch a video a game. F1 yeah, exactly. Here. Yeah. I think we really should look into getting uh, the front-facing cameras yeah. being projected Mounted. on the rear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've got to say, I am very pleasantly surprised. I knew the power and the torque would be good, but direction change is good. I mean, yeah, it's it's like everything, though. I've taken a thousand road cars onto a racetrack, and that's not what they were designed for. No. You know, they're designed to to be compliant on the road, give you the best all-round experience in every condition. Right, but. A performance car, the species of performance <laughs> this is, it actually has to drive you around town, drive your guests around town as well as you can and enjoy it and enjoy the technology. But you know, we live in California, so we have canyon driving, don't we? You know, right. so yeah. we want it to be, as, you know, a, have the duality yeah. that you can just change its personality and get out there, you know. No doubt. You will never have like a spacious in the back and performance and comfort. Yeah. This is a comfort ride. And all the LA traffic, you could just, your passengers can enjoy the entertainment and yeah. time flies right by. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly.
I'll just do one lap. Let it how, how come you're on the eco mode? <laughs> what? What? Was I? You're not even on the track mode, or you're not on the hyper. I don't mode. know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there's the power. <laughs> I just wanted to build your stomachs up a we little were, bit. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot more power. <laughs> oh, I can feel the brakes. Oh, I'll be careful. Can you feel that? Yeah. It just did not yeah, like that great. second, third lap. We won't put that in the video. Whoever's editing in this, do not add that in the video. <laughs> Your guys yeah. love adding every piece of shit I say into the video. <laughs> Let's just let it cool down a second. You know, it's this thing's 6,500 pounds, but yeah. it doesn't necessarily feel like that. Right. No, not at all. Yeah. It really does. The driving the size, it, it feels like a golf instead of a yeah. suburb. Well, that's all part of the way you've done the, the, not just the external architecture, but the inside, moving the weight to the front, yeah. you know, moving that center line instead of that A pillar okay, going huh? down, you're in front <laughs> of the front good. wheel yeah. and everything, you know? You look yeah. like you're about to fall asleep. No, so exactly. comfy. So <laughs> what do we think, guys? Do we get a job as, as, your, as your chauffeur? <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely. Hired. Exactly. Best Uber driver I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a mind blow to go? <laughs> Is that Max really sitting back there? Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. So Hold bad, on, this, you know. this deserves a, a selfie. Re, 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 right re, re. <laughs> We're both, both oh, just oh, lounging on. back here. Is that, there's Max, look. That, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Really good. What a great experience. Exactly. I mean, can you I'm believe it? We're all just on the racetrack. Very encouraged. As no, no car is doing this, right? No. no. <laughs> So I think that's what I got I got from this experience was that you know being able to drive it on the road in full luxury taking advantage of all the AI the 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 sophisticated entertainment and everything but for me being able to take it onto a racetrack and enjoy the driving in at high speed knowing that it's not going to let me down knowing that I can explore that and push it harder that is the surprising thing and and if there's one thing that people need to know about the car is that it can do both. Right. And I think we just discovered that. Absolutely. All right. Uh, sick bags are behind uh, the seats. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great driving. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. You, right. I don't even notice it when I'm just doing a no. one hot lap. Very good. That it's, was incredible. Uh, that was awesome. Really good, right? That yeah. was good. Thank you, that buddy. That was awesome. No, no. I enjoyed watching you go and I'm, I'm very encouraged by by the performance right yeah. knowing that we can you can push it i mean and not yeah. not joking i mean it's right it's i mean very stable through the long fast right hander and everything what's yeah. incredible is every day that we're out here we're figuring out new ways to improve the dri driving carousels yeah. and uh it's been just incredible to watch the team work so hard to make something so powerful and fast out of a vehicle of this size, yeah, it feels like a hypercar almost. Yeah, so it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the start of the journey, guys. Yeah, Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely, loved it. Thank you. Thank really you. fun.
Do we have lap times right now? Okay, so the Ferrari SF90 is 145.0. Okay, that's pretty quick. I told you that would be the quickest car. The Jag. Okay, well, the Jag's done a 153. That's pretty good. The Ferrari SF90 Spider did a 147. That's a second slower than the FF91. Let's see. So Wes here is pretty unique. So that A86 he brought is a uh, it's one of our old friends and unfortunately he passed away. So Wes, so the family actually willed a car to Wes. And Wes actually works for Honda and uh, and they've been rebuilding that car ever since and trying to uh, uh, you know tribute for the car. So that's why he brought the car to the track today and uh, just to run it. And uh, the, the guy that passed away is named Teddy. So in Teddy's honor, so he's gonna drive the truck, drive the car on track on behalf of Teddy. So it's really good. So good. I mean, that's pretty quick round here. Well done, you. Yeah, how much horsepower does it have? 350. I mean, the alternator on that Bugatti's got 350 horsepower. Actually, the front end, do you know what? The front electric motors on my FF91 have 350. Just the front. Arena walking towards us. Round of applause for the, not just the fastest lady, but I think almost the fastest person here so far. Nearly. 44.5, 44.53. I think you two need to go back out. Mm. You're still the fastest, sir, but not. Was that fun, Arena? It was fun. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great time. Have you driven that car before? I've driven it on this track maybe two months ago. Wow, all right. Well, I was very impressed. That was pretty good. You, I saw you catch up the car in front down there. Is that where you got into trouble for overtaking down there? I, I don't think we overtook, but you know. All right, that's bullshit. That's bullshit arena. I know that. I'm a driver. I can tell what's happening here. That was really impressive. But you, do you like going sideways more than going in a straight line? I've done a little bit of both. So I've done drifting school in the past on one of my other vehicles, but I think I, I like the tracking a little bit more. And that's a big car. I was just thinking Billy is probably telepathically giving you hints. Um, were you shouting at her what to do? No, she was just uh, doing an awesome job out there. I tell you, I'm really impressed. That's really. But look at the time difference between you and that Cayman. It's one tenth. What? If you weren't in the car, if you hadn't taken this hugely bloated human being next to me, who must weigh 160 pounds. The 86 KO. That's wild. That shitbox that just went by. I cannot believe it. He's got like a hemi under the hood. That's wild. Okay. Is he? Well, he's obviously keeping in the straight line, not going sideways today. Wow. Please. All right. 42.8. That's, that's Sean. Sean Lee, 42.8. Pulling it out the bag. We will never hear the end of this. He's driving his uh, 911. He's um, just 911. Base career, but he's got, he's got special suspension training arms. Um, not, he's only got 340 horsepower or something. But. Wow. Oh, it's getting a bit sporty right now. Yeah. Okay, it looks like Arena's going out there again. Okay, this will be good. I'm really interested to see this, uh, the Ferrari go out. I think that's, that to me, probably, out of all these cars here, is the fastest in the right hands. Should be the fastest on the track. Do you think it's gonna be within one minute per second? No. Ish. I don't know what it could be. I don't know what he's done so far. 
He did one for default, then maybe he could. Strength temperature is high though. Um, Alright. Rena's taking out in that AMG. She was very fast last time out. So let's see. What out he goes in his 911 turbo. He's got a little bit of a match up going with the other Porsches. Need to be a bit faster. In comes Sean Lee, everybody. Wow, look, Sean Lee. Woo! What a time! Sean, you should look at your tires because I think you just hurt them. Better to get, you're the second fastest. 42.808. My friend, you, that is crazy. Right behind you is something with a third of the horsepower. That's wild. That was a good lap. Oh, look at that, there's the Ferrari. Yo, 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 that's quick. Is that not you? They may have put you, they may have told you, I might give you false promotion. It was definitely your car. It says turbo, but you're not a turbo. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I always knew you could drive. You always, I mean, like, you've told me a lot you can drive, but I've, this is my first time of witnessing it. I know you're really good, but I don't even get to see it. I'm just really impressed. Yeah, I, I've been waiting a long time to congratulate you for being the fastest Asian driver I know. That's a good one. I mean, he's told me he's fast for years, but now I've seen it. Well done. Do you know what you beat? A white MR2. <laughs> That's pretty good. You, he was flying. Okay, this is good. You need a clean lap? You're feeling, yeah, but you, I, I, I don't know, will that Ferrari SF90 knock you off your perch? Maybe you should try the SF90. That SF90? That's a good one. Whose car? I could. Okay, try it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're gonna have Justin Bill driving the SF90. I wonder how that's gonna be. I think, yeah, let's do this. So, Billy, according to your, wait, wait, I'm gonna wait for Justin comes out so we can, so we can give us a little stress. So, Billy, how, how fast do, lap time wise, what do you think Justin's gonna do on the SF90? If he doesn't do a, a 110, he needs to stick with uh, marketing and, and promotion. <laughs> just so you hear that, he needs to say, if you don't do a 110, just stick to your market. Oh, look at that, the fancy helmet. Oh, the fancy helmet. That's worth five seconds right there. That, that <laughs> wow, I feel tension. Come on, Justin, you can do it. Three-pointer, three-pointer. 
you can do it. So this track is repaved, and repaving it definitely improves the lap times. Justin, completely no stress. Don't worry about it. Nobody's looking at you. But everybody look at the orange SF90. That's Justin Bill. Run up for Justin Bill right there. Come on. Yeah! This is gonna be fun. So we're live streaming this on YouTube, TikTok, and uh, on ESPN. So don't get Justin. No pressure. It's anything goes. We have today's fastest female driver. This is matter. She did a 114.06. <laughs> oh, Justin's on the track, guys. All right, he's getting ready on the track in the SF90. Take out your phone. I wish I had my uh, I wish I had my Porsche with me. What do you think Justin's gonna do? I'm gonna say 131. Wow, we should write this down. Do we have pens? Can someone write it down? The closest person to get to it, I'll give you guys a teacher, a pure teacher. Oh, he's on guys. He's a launch control. Yes, yes. Yes. CEO? What do you think his lap is gonna be? One twenty nine. One twenty nine. How about you? Go down. Ready? One thirty. And you guys? You're the one twenty nine. And you? Seconds off, he'll pay 100 bucks per second to everybody. <laughs> Come and collect from Max, huh? He's it, it, starting his line. It's a warm up right now. The car's warmed up already, so. Justin, this is a patient not watching, I'm pushing and watching, but this is you. Me and Billy is commentating. And joking. A little slow. Definitely tell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, really, he's off the gas. What is that? That's pretty good. Five more minutes. Slowing down a little bit. Off the ground. Playing the apex. Now, punch in the gas. There's your effect. 
Coming straight. That's yes, FDA coming up straight. Wow, 129.9. Damn. There it is, there it is. Damn, that's very close to the FF91 structure. In the SF90. Wow. Yep. 129.9. 135 is the rookie. It's the rookie. 135, huh? So now everybody's looking now. Everybody's now looking like, like whether or not Justin's gonna break the record. This is crazy. This is funny. Yeah, everybody's looking at it. Hey, I say, I that bitch wasn't two laps all that. <laughs> So the success of the track Our hero just came in two laps and broke the record. Jesus. The mom drivers will know that out there. A different breed. Too bad we can see Billy Johnson in the same car. That would be pretty awesome. Billy's our own. Before we come to the end of this nice day and claim or proclaim the winners of uh, our lab competition, first I want to thank the whole team making it happen that we have such a nice event today. Thank you to the crew, thank you for everybody taking us, keeping us safe and thank you for all the drivers not having crashed one car. That's an achievement with the winners. So the first winner I, I call to stage is Arena. This lady has been bloodied and fast. She took the third place in taking the track by 140 a little bit. Yeah. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And enjoy and awesome. looking forward to see you in the FF91. Thank you. Let me take picture. All right, right here. Yeah. Count of three. One, two, and three. Yeah. 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 So the, tech, the second in, in the round, uh, I think it's not really a surprise that I can call Justin again oh. on stage. Oh. <coughs> a little bit of a cheater. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. I said he's making it in 129. Actually, he did it in 129.9. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much. I haven't won anything in a long time. So <laughs> thank, next time it'll be in the FF91. So. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much. Awesome, right here. One, two, and three. Thank you. Where's Sean? Oh, Sean, did you get one of these? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, did you get one? No. <laughs> and I think it's not a surprise with all the work he has put in. Number one is Greg. Come to the stage, please. So he has put a lot of effort in. Wow. Taking the FF91 in a little bit more than 128 seconds around the track. That's so good. this is one thing. Yes. And the other thing, which is even bigger, <coughs> it's again, oh, a, wow. again another track re record for you. Look at that. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a team effort. It's a team effort. It's not just me. Verde has got an incredible team, and I'm really proud to be a part of what you guys are doing. I think that this is just the beginning, really. So, to Faraday, great job. Yes, yes. Yep. There we go, yeah. I'm holding that for you. Right here on the count of three, one, two, and three. Awesome, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Awesome, So thank you. you're running out of walls? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Craig. 
Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Today we just witnessed the FF91 2.0 once again breaking the Wheel of Springs lap record with 128.13, surpassing the records of Lamborghini Urus in this competition. The FF91 2.0, despite weighing over 6,000 pounds, FF has once again defied the traditional perspective of physics in the automotive industry. It showcases it showcases the ultimate AI tech luxury EV performance on the fastest track in this West. Congratulations to all winners today. We sincerely invite you to join the FF Global Racetrack Conquer Plan, where we can co-create in technology engineering. Together, we will drive the all hyper transformation in the spare AI EV industry. Thank you. Oh, thank better. you. You are very expert. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was ah, good. That good job. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, the Ferrari. Thank was you. Fast. I cannot believe. Yeah, sure. I knew how hard I drove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is faster. Yeah, <laughs> next, next time maybe you should drive like yeah. I have oh, to I will. to yeah. make the record. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> new record. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Right, right here. One, two, and three. Awesome. I got it right okay. side up, right? Okay. Yeah. That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah. Lady, in the center. There yeah. Okay. There we are. There we are. Right here, right here, Matthias. Oh, Matthias, yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, right. Everybody right here. One, two, and three. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Okay.